So the big idea is to find the gravitational force between the Earth and the Moon. Okay, so how am I gonna do that? So I know the force of gravity is given by G M1 M2 over R squared. Um, and I had I remember the teacher said something about centripetal force, but I, I, I don't know how that how that's possible. The only force between these two is gravity. Okay, so that's done. We also have the force between two charges, Q1 and Q2, separated by a distance r. So the force between these two charges is uh, the electric force. So that's going to be K, Q1, Q2 over r squared. Uh, okay, so now here, uh, well, I know that... Uh, How so are you doing? Oh, I'm good. So I'm just a little bit confused why you said centripetal forces what force keeping the moon in a circular motion around the earth gravity gravitational force right uh -huh. what type of force is it centripetal force that's oh. why you can use the centripetal centripetal force because moon is going in circles yes oh. so you can use actually um mv square over r mm. which is m a c Mm -hmm. So, for example, G seven times ten raised to negative eleven. Mm -hmm. The mass of the moon is uh, mm -hmm. seven point three five times ten raised to twenty two. Mm -hmm. Mass of the Earth uh, six times ten raised to twenty four. The distance between this uh, uh, moon and Earth three hundred eighty four thousand kilometers. That's right. And that gives you two times ten raised to twenty newton, right? Mm -hmm. And this is going to give you the same thing. Oh. So FC is equal to MAC, right? Mm -hmm. M is how much? 7.35 times. Uh, oh, so this M has to be the mass of the moon or the earth? Mass of the moon because we oh. are trying to find okay, the okay. force on the moon due to earth mm -hmm. times 0 0.003. Mm -hmm. And that is. 2 times 10 is to 20. Mm. So both ways you get the same answer. I see, okay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Would you be able to do this one? Yeah. Okay. So K is going to be 9 times 10 to the 9.